When I said Harlan, it's a beautiful film. I thought it was great. You guys are taking a seat in the reserve seat. Thank you. Oh, wow. It's very animated. I love it. An extraordinary woman, a generous person, an acting genius. Maybe it's three. I've never been on a jury before, and they asked me to be the president of the Berlin Film Festival for the 66th Be uh, Berlinale. And we had amazing films and a really eclectic, interesting jury. We had films from Tunisia, Mali, Germany, France, the UK, all of them stories, narratives, all of them fiction. And then we had this entry from Italy, for Mali, a fire at sea. And unanimously, this weird little group of contentious people that all disagreed with each other agreed it should win the Golden Bear. Um, because it's something, yes, it's documentary, I guess. <laughs> But it's also art. I mean, it, it sort of enters just the, the way the truth is arranged, makes it like, makes it sort of like a poem. And I don't mean like a twee kind of poem. I mean something really <laughs> essential. It, it's unavoidable, like there is providence in the fall of a sparrow. And that, that's prophetic, you'll see when you see the film. So, <laughs> Um, it's my honor to, to um, introduce the man who shot every inch of the film and is its director and its editor, Jeff Franco. Since Berlin and the Royal Photo, we have again uh, another opportunity to be so close to you. <laughs> <laughs> so intimate. So and silver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a one wonderful picture that it looks like we are kissing each other. That's not true. We, not true. we were moving we from one yeah. from one cheek to another <laughs> cheek. And everybody <laughs> think we kiss each other. Says everybody says it's not true. But it was not true. <laughs> <laughs> People ask me why did you do make this film? And make this film to create an awareness and uh, there's a sound in the film that uh, when people <coughs> call from the sea and say, what's your position, what you, which are your coordinates? This is ego, this desperation of voices saying, please help, help, help. And the guy keeps asking, what's your position? And I want this became almost like a metaphor, especially in this time, you know, where what's your position is very important to acknowledge what's your position. And if 20 people, 30 people come out from the theater asking themselves, what's my position towards this huge problem? I think that was worth it to spend one and a half year in this place to make this film. Come on.